shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, enriching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did, for their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A responsorial psalm. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true. All of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The Lord be with you. With Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. You, Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. They once left their nets and followed him and walked along from there and saw two other brothers, James, son of John, and Zeb son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat, with their father Zebedee mending their nets. And he called them, immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Perhaps you remember the original movie from quite some time ago, Sister Act, where sisters were harboring somewhat of a fugitive and she became the music director and wanted to change the whole music program for the convent. And so she updated the music and the Holy Father heard about this and came and listened to uh, the, their concert that they were performing. And one of the most beautiful songs that they did sing for the Holy Father, it started out as a very beautiful choral, um, um, religious, melodic uh, tune, and then wound up into a real rock and roll. I will follow him wherever he may go. There isn't an ocean too deep or nor an, a, a mountain too high to climb. I will follow him. And then they start. I love him, I love him, I love him. Pretty much the gospel today, isn't it? 
I will follow him. Come follow me. And they did. They were brave men to leave their father's business and to leave the, the fishing industry. That This is what they knew. To go and follow Jesus, not really knowing what to expect. And Jesus was demanding of them that they give their full consent of following him. And he taught them for three years. And they were very successful then in carrying on the work of the church and building up the kingdom of God when Jesus arose and ascended into heaven. One of those is, is, uh, uh, is um, today is St. Andrew. He was crucified on an X type of cross, gave his life. He followed Christ right to the cross. In his little memory, in our um, Advent booklet, um, Billy Legg says, gives us a little bit of an, a, a better insight when he says, when we follow Christ, and we hear his voice, go help others who are less fortunate than you. Not just wait till they come on your path. Go and seek them out. Go and find. I will follow you. That's what Jesus did. He didn't wait for people to come around to him to say, oh, I'm sick, can you help me? Sometimes he did, but most of them he ran from town to town to town, preached and healed and so on and so forth. So we too must seek and search those who need the power and the glory and the healing and the grace of Almighty God through his son, Jesus Christ. But the bottom line that Billy says in his little meditation is that when we do that, when we follow Christ to that degree, he turns around and begins to uh, serve us. He serves us. When we serve one another, he turns around and serves us unto salvation. And then it doesn't get any better than that. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that her power and authority may be exercised in love and service to all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, prayer. hear our prayer. For leaders and peoples of all countries and nations, may they live in peace as brothers and sisters and strive to promote healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear Lord, our prayer. Hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For those who have died, especially Lorraine Serrato, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother and ask for her powerful intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands I've made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and milk of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and pray, my dear friends, like the apostles, that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands. The praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all is holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings we may bring on this feast day of St. Andrew. We may please you by what we have brought and give life by what you have accepted. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, a duty in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You have built your church to stand on the apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of their holiness on earth and of all humanity for your heavenly teaching. Therefore now, for all of the ages unending, and with all of the hosts of the angels, we choose, sing with all of our hearts, crying out as we all acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Son in the heights. Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the heights. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore your deeds, gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and him. O God, God Almighty Father, in the unity, unity of the Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit all glory, glory and honor is yours forever, forever and, and ever. ever. Amen. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us serve one another with the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the joy of all the apostles, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May communion in your sacraments strengthen us, O Lord, 
so that by the example of the blessed apostle Andrew, we who carry out in our body the death of Jesus may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.